Uh, years ago, Carl Hillary was our SCS conservationist here in the county. And Carl, along with Claire Gerbrick, who was the administrator, as Chuck is now for the district, uh, had a great belief and a love affair with cover crops. They promoted spreading rye and rye grass on corn fields as, as early as when the corn was starting to tassel. Uh, this gave a very good cover and for, uh, when, when the corn was taken off and it protected the soil and uh, reduced erosion and helped to retain the nutrients. I'd like to present this citation on behalf of Morris and Wigan myself. It is a citation from the House of Representatives and it, it is presented tonight to Brownstone Real Estate Company. There's someone Ford and Cleona from the back of the barn that would be the railroad tracks in the background there. When I first saw this, I said to my uncle, gee, there must have been at least 30 or 40 people there. He said, no, they fed 200 people lunch that day at the Cleona Fire Hall. Someone else that saw this said, gee, didn't they have ladders back in those days? I'm sure they did, but you'll notice the only ladders you'll see here are the ones they built into the barn to get into the hay now. Amazing to me that, that these people are probably most of them farmers, not construction workers, and there they are walking around in those beams like they do it every day of the week. The other thing which we may have passed already, uh, hopefully you noticed, how, how much effort Bones has put into having all the wood cut into the right lengths, laid in the right order, so that they would have just what they needed when they needed it.
closely with local officials and the engineering firm of RGS Associates, Brownstone was able to lay out this site to avoid negative water runoff impacts while making the development more attractive for future residents at the same time. John B. Wenger of South Anvil Township is the 2009 recipient of the Lebanon County Conservation District Special Recognition Award for Conservation. The son of John E. and Marie Wenger, conservationists in their own right, John is a graduate of Cedar Crest High School and Cornell University. After three years with the National Rails to Trails Conservancy in Washington, D.C., John returned to the Lebanon Valley and continued putting energy into converting old railroad beds in the public trails. Well, I'm not going to get started on the trail because you know, Todd's we're probably in the middle of the first inning by now. <laughs> so, um, it's been a really fun journey working on the trail for the last 15 years. I um, had no idea what it was going to turn into. We knew the concept was going to be great for the county. Uh, we had some real dedicated people in the beginning, a lot of which are, a lot of whom are still with us on our board. From the Groundwater Foundation of Lincoln, Nebraska, the award recognizes communities that are protecting their groundwater uh, resources 